The lack of testimony during this session um, by teachers and students, whenever students do come in, we all applaud and admire and we go, oh my God, it's so great that you kids are here. But not enough of them are coming in. We're not hearing about all these impacts um, that are having upon the students. And yesterday, we had 40 people come testify, and only three of the people that come, came and testified were teachers. And I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. It's just a structural problem with the committee process that so few teachers can take time out of their day because they know the importance of being here, but they just can't, they don't have the luxury of finding a sub and preparing a lesson plan and coming down here to testify. And we need to hear from the teachers and the impact these things are going to have on their day-to-day -day lives. The second thing I just want to say real quickly, one of our peers in, in government in the executive branch is faced with uh, two lawsuits that are going to be $4.7 million. And if we don't help our peers in the executive branch by funding those two lawsuits, that branch is going to lose 20% of their staff. That is another unacceptable thing in this bill. Um, Senator Weger mentioned um, paperwork reduction. Every single special ed teacher that's come down here in the last couple, um, this whole session, has talked about the importance of paperwork reduction, and a lot of stuff in this bill does reduce it, but it's a drop in the bucket. The special ed teachers in this state, are, are we can't keep them in the classroom because their morale is so low. This bill, in my opinion, it's woefully unpreparing the students for the 21st century. We never hesitate in spending money for STEM. But when it comes to civics education and when it comes to financial uh, literacy for our juniors and seniors, we're dropping the ball. And lastly, the safe schools, which we all believe in and we all want, it, each district will get $32,000. That's $32,000. That won't pay for one counselor. It won't pay for one social worker. It won't pay for one correctional security person. And so those are my five quick comments on this bill. But I'd like to finish with how I started. This great state's educational system happens because of the work done by this committee and because of you people here that have testified for the last three months. And I thank you all.